So support for new Iran sanctions on both sides of the aisle. And now Speaker Boehner announcing that he has formally invited Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to speak about Iran's nuclear program on Capitol Hill. It is my honor, he says, on behalf of the bipartisan leadership of the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate to extend to you an invitation to appear before and address a joint meeting of Congress on Wednesday, February the 11th, 2015. That will no doubt be an address to watch very closely in light of everything that's going on. Certainly will. Also, this al-Qaeda operative silently released home to Qatar on Friday. This is he, Ali Salah Almari, sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. That was back in 2009, five years ago after accepting a plea deal and admitting to giving material support to Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the mastermind of 9-11. He did not even serve six of those years. Here's then President Bush talking about Almari's terrorist past. Now, Saleh was training in poisons at an al-Qaeda camp in Afghanistan and had been sent to the United States before September the 11th to serve as a sleeper agent ready for follow-on attacks. But KSM brought al-Saleh to meet Osama bin Laden, where he pledged his loyalty to the al-Qaeda leader and offered himself up as a martyr. So now he is back in Qatar. Department of Justice said he is released for time served. More to come on this story as it develops. That's a head shaker. All right. So meanwhile, the words al-Qaeda absent from President Obama's address last night, which took place nearly 14 years since the 9-11 terror attacks and two weeks since the Charlie Hebdo massacre, believed to be carried out by two men connected to al-Qaeda and ISIS, and on the same day that al-Qaeda killed 37 people in Yemen. So last night was the very first time that this terror group got absolutely no mention whatsoever in the State of the Union address since February of 2001. And while the president did talk about ISIS, he steered clear of calling the global threat Islamic extremism when describing these terrorists. In Iraq, in Syria, American leadership, including our military power, is stopping ISIL's advance. We're also supporting a moderate opposition in Syria that can help us in this effort and assisting people everywhere who stand up to the bankrupt ideology of violent extremism. Now this effort will take time. It will require focus. But we will succeed.